Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Mogger, my friends. The Ark World Tour Finals has wrapped up and we had some world-class Guilty Gear Strive played out. And big congratulations to Varix for winning with the Goryuki and Varix is from Senegal. So Africa is really starting to represent big time on the international scene from fighting games and I am here for it. There's so many places around the world that you don't necessarily always get to see, but it doesn't mean the quality of players is any less. And now it's starting to become very apparent in the post rollback era that, you know, there's a lot of killers all over the world. But hey, big tournament, of course, we got to have some big surprises, a big announcement and things up, right? So if you saw the interview I had recently on the channel with Daisuke Ishiwatari and the Arc System Works crew, one of the things I asked them was, you know, hey, you know, what's next? What's coming up? And obviously they couldn't say exactly, but they did tell me, you know, we'd be finding out pretty soon what they've been up to. And well, hey, this is exactly it. So we've had three seasons now of Guilty Gear Strive. And yes, season four is now officially confirmed. And hey, then there's this and we'll get to this in a second. But yes, four seasons now of Guilty Gear Strive. We have one more DLC character to come. And then, hey, come season four, plenty more to go. So I mentioned Leopoldin in my interview video, and hey, maybe he has a chance. And for other Guilty Gear stalwarts that haven't made it just yet, or even all new characters, hey, there's endless possibilities to come. Guilty Gear Strive simply is here for the long haul, simply put. And hey, let's talk the other thing. So we got this crowd reaction going on. Some people are pretty hype, right? What exactly did we see there in that brief little flash? Now, it could be a lot of things, really, right? Like, let's take another look here. So we come in, uh, we see some outlines of what appears to be bats, someone with a big old cowl going on, and realistically, that could be a lot of things. How about Jam? Maybe Jam hangs out with bats now. She's never canonically hated bats, as far as I can tell, so that door has always been open, really. Maybe it's Dizzy and her helpers turned into bats. Maybe it's Robokai with bats. Like, it could be a lot of characters with bats, is what I'm trying to say. Because I know you conspiracy-addled people are going to say it's Slayer just because it looks like a vampire and there's bats. Which, frankly, shows a lack of imagination as far as I'm concerned. But hey, it could very well be Slayer. Slayer hotly anticipated. Uh, if you've been following along over the years, you know, with the data mines and leaks, Slayer's been in the game files, like, since about the start. So long overdue, some could argue. But yeah, so basically, shorter video, but the future of Guilty Gear Strive is certainly bright. We have ABBA launching very soon on the 26th. We have uh, seemingly Slayer as our final confirmed character for Season 3 of Guilty Gear Strive. And Guilty Gear Strive's got a lot of gas left in the tank because Season 4 is on the way. Guilty Gear Strive has done a lot of good for fighting games as a whole. You know, it kind of just like led the charge of the rollback era and paved the way for everything else that has followed. So I'm just very, very happy. It puts a smile on my face that this game is still going so strong so many years later. So really all I can say for it is I'm looking forward to it and I hope you are as well. And that's the news for today. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some Guilty Gear.